Welcome to Kids Cove News. Today is Palm Sunday. Let me see your palm branches. <laughs> That's right. We are so excited to celebrate with you today that Jesus is alive. Next week through Resurrection Road and Preschoolers Praise, we're going to be celebrating together. So make sure and join us next Sunday. Today is National Take a Walk in the Park Day. Did you know that? Oh. We hope you'll be able to get outside today and enjoy all the fresh air and all of God's wonderful creation. We also have several friends celebrating their birthdays. We do. So happy birthday to Michael, to Matthew, and to Jaden. Happy birthday, Louisa, Weston, and Will. Happy birthday, Zoe, Claire, and Daisy. So fun. Okay, guys. I have a joke for you today. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're ready. ready. I'm ready. What do you call an alligator who solves mysteries? An alligator, alligator? who yes. solves mysteries. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. An alligator who solves mysteries is an investigator. <laughs> an investigator. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. That was cute. That's Shelly. It's fun. You'll have to share that one with your family. That's, That's a wrap, wrap for Kids, Kids Code, Code News. News. See, See you next week. week. Hello, I campus kids, friends. My name is Yancey, and I want to remind you that God made you to give him praise every single day. So come on, get up on your feet. It is time for us to clap our hands and move around and sing together. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I'll praise the Lord. Every day. Hello, 
Hello, my friends. Welcome back to iCampus Kids. I'm Miss Amanda, and I'm so glad you are here with me today to celebrate a special day called Palm Sunday. I want you to listen carefully to the story so you can figure out why today is called Palm Sunday. I have a question for you. Have you ever been to a parade? If you have, then you know that at a parade, you stand on one side of the road and watch as people walk by. Usually for a parade, everyone is there to see someone special. Maybe it's a football team, or it could even be a parade for someone's birthday. Our story today is a parade and the special guest of honor was Jesus. Let's grab our Bibles and learn more about this special day. The Bible tells us in John 20, 31, these words were written so that we can know that Jesus is God's son. God gave us the Bible to learn more about him and his son Jesus and how much he loves us. Since God wrote the Bible, we know that every word is true. Let's turn to the book of Matthew in the New Testament. Now, I'm gonna use my peg people to help me tell the story today. The Bible tells us that Jesus and his disciples were walking down a road to Jerusalem. Jesus told two of the disciples to go into the next town, and he said, you will find a donkey and her colt there. Untie them and bring them to me. The disciples found the donkey, just like Jesus said, and brought it to him. The disciples spread their coats on the donkey's back, and Jesus climbed onto the donkey and rode into Jerusalem. Along the way, many people began to gather beside the road. And when they saw Jesus coming, they began to spread their coats onto the road. Other people cut down palm branches and threw palm branches on the road and waved them in the air, welcoming Jesus. This is the way the people would welcome a king. Let's take a look at the picture. As Jesus passed by, the people began to shout happy words. They praised Jesus by saying, Hosanna. They were so happy to see him. They knew Jesus was special. They wanted to see him and praise him. They showed Jesus how much they loved him. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, can you say that with me? Hosanna means God save me. Hosanna is a word of praise and joy. Some people asked, who is this? And the crowd replied, this is Jesus from Nazareth. Many people were happy to see Jesus. Let's take a look at our Bible verse. It says, these words were written so that we can know that Jesus is God's son. John 20, 31. Jesus is God's son. Saying or shouting happy words, thanks God for Jesus. How did the people show honor and praise to Jesus today? They said, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let's get ready to pray. Let's thank God for sending his son, Jesus. Father God, we love you so much. And we thank you for this time together, Lord. And we thank you for this very special day. Father, I pray that you take the words that we've learned today and hide it in my friends' hearts. Help them to know just how special Jesus is. Father, I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, and it's in his beautiful name we pray. Amen. Did you figure out why we call today Palm Sunday? That's right, friends. The people waved palm branches and shouted praises to Jesus. You are so smart. Let's play a game and try to match palm branches. 
All right, I have some different palm branches here on the board and you guys are really good at memory match. You have to help me because I'm really not that good at memory match. So they're all different shapes of palm branches. So we've got to match the two palm branches. All right, you ready? Let's start, hmm, where do you think? Should we start with this one up here in the corner? All right, let's start right here. All right, this one is pretty neat, isn't it? This is a palm branch, but we need to find its match. It's kind of tall and a rectangle. Where do you think its match is? Hmm, could it be this one right here? That one's kind of tall and has a rectangle. Should we try there? Okay, let's look and see what we have. No, that's definitely not a match for sure. All right, but keep remember where that one is. We'll see that one again. All right, where do you think, friends? Hmm, oh, what about right here? This one definitely looks like a rectangle, kind of tall. Should we check there? Okay, let's check there. <gasps> Look, we did it, it's a match. Very good, you did it. All right, which one should we do? Should we do a square this time? How about this one? Let's try this one right here. All right. Ooh, look at that one, it's so pretty. All right, let's see if we can find the match to this pretty palm branch. All right, this one's kind of a square. Hmm, should we check? Look, all of these are square right here. Which one should we check? One, two, or three? What do you think? Holler out your answer. Three? Okay, we'll try three. Let's see what is behind three. Hmm, look at how smart you are. You did it, it's a match. The palm branch and its shadow. Very good, I'm so proud of you. All right, let's see. Hmm, let's try. This is a row of skinny rectangles. Should we see what we can figure out right here? Let's start with this one right here. Oh, that's a cool looking palm branch. We looked at that one a minute ago. I'm thinking it's one of these. All right, last time you did so good. Do you think it's one, two, or three? You tell me your answer. Hmm, okay, two. Let's try number two and see if this one matches. Oh, no, that's not a match. That's a pretty cool leaf, but that's definitely not a match. All right, what do you think? Is it one or two? Tell me your answer. What should I turn? All right, we'll try number one. Oh, so close. It's definitely not a match. All right, let's see. Must be this one. Do you think it's this one? I think it's definitely this one. Let's try. <gasps> there we did it. There's the match. The matching palm branch and its shadow. Very good. All right, okay, now we have two more rectangles. I feel like we should just check these two. What do you think? All right, let's do it. Let's try this one. Oh, that's that cool long branch, long palm branch. Let's see. Oh, yay, good job. Kiss your brain, you're so smart. You figured that out so fast. Okay, these might not be as easy because these all kind of both, all of them kind of look like squares to me. All right, which one should we start? Should we start up here at the top? All right, here we go. Let's turn this one around. Wow, that's cool. Kind of looks like a fan. That's a cool palm branch. Which one should we check? Should we check here? Yes or no? Mm, no, not that one. Should I check that one? Yes, no, mm, no, not that one either. Okay, so you think it's this one right here? Okay, let's see. You guys are better at this than me. <gasps> you did it! Very good! You knew! Kiss your brain! Now we only have two left. Let's check and see if these are matches. They must be. One, two. Very good! You are so good at playing memory match. Before I leave you today, I wanted to give you a fun activity that you can do at home. Why don't you go outside, collect some branches with some leaves on them. You can use them to shout praises to God and say our new special word. Do you remember? Hosanna. Happy Palm Sunday, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, our campus kids, it's your good friend, Coach Bobcat. Wow. 
the new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids. It's good. All right, now, friends, when I say our campus kids, you need to throw your hands in the air like you just scored a touchdown and say, it's good. If you can do that, say, I can do that. All right, good job. Well, I am Coach Bobcat, the new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids. It's good. Good job, everybody. Okay, well, I need everybody to get up on your feet. Everybody, get up on your feet. It's time for us to do the stretch. Somebody say stretch. Oh, that's really good, really good. Now, here's what you need to do. Turn to a neighbor say, can I get a little bit of stretching space? Turn to your other neighbor say, excuse me, neighbor, can I get a little bit of stretching space? All right, everybody, I need you to follow Coach Bobcat as we get ready to stretch. We're gonna start with some ups, sides, and some downs. Let's go. Up, side, down. Let me hear you say up, side, down. A little bit louder, say up, side, down. One more time, say up, side, down. Now let's walk in place. Walk in place, everybody. Come on. Walk in place, everybody. With a smile. Walk in place, everybody. Come on. Walk in place, everybody. Okay, it's time to eat, everybody. So what I need you to do is get yourself a big old pot and a big old spoon and stir the chili. Come on, everybody. Stir the chili. Let's see you stir the chili. Come on, everybody. Stir the chili. Let's taste it. Taste the chili. Mmm, come on. Taste the chili. Mmm, come on. Taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. What do we need? We need a little salt. Come on, everybody, and we need a little pepper. Come on, everybody, need a little salt. Come on, everybody, and we need a little pepper. Stir that chili, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Okay, friends, it's time for us to go outside. But when we get outside, there's a storm coming, and it's got thunder. Boom, 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 and lightning, lightning. Lightning, lightning, thunder, boom, 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 and lightning, 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 lightning. So turn to your neighbor, say, what are we gonna do? <laughs> say, where are we gonna go? Say, I know, we're gonna go inside and play a game. So let's go on inside. Good job, everybody. You guys did a great job, and we'll see you for a fun game inside. All right, our campus kids, it's time for us to play a game. So if you're ready to play a game, someone say, it's good. <laughs> all right, good job, everybody. Now, the game that we've been playing all month and we're gonna keep playing today is charades. Somebody say, charades. All right, now remember, I'm gonna do something by acting it out and I'm not gonna say any words. Now, you need to watch what I'm doing and then you're gonna tell me what your guess is and we'll see if you get it right. Now, remember the hint. It's gonna be a story from what we what we heard today in our lesson, okay? All right, so if you're ready to play your first charade, someone say, it's good. All right, let's get ready for your first charade. Here we go. Okay, did you get it? All right. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Here we go, get ready. All right, now today we learned that Jesus was getting ready to go into Jerusalem and he sent two of his disciples on ahead to find him a donkey. So if you said Jesus sent two ahead, or if you said they went looking for a donkey, you got the first clue right. Someone say it's good. Good job. All right, everybody. Good job. Now, here comes clue number two. All right, get ready for our charade. Here we go. All right. Okay, ooh, this is a tougher one, okay? Now, we learned today that the disciples, they laid their coats on the back of the donkey so that Jesus could sit on the donkey and ride into Jerusalem. Later, we also heard that people laid their coats on the road and lined the road so that as Jesus was coming into town, they could lay their coats flat and see that he was there. All right, so the answer today is coats, okay? If you got it, say, it's good. <laughs> All right, good job. All right. 
Here's the last charade for the day. Here we go. Okay, let's watch. Okay, did you get it? <laughs> All right. Now, people were excited to see Jesus and they knew how special he was. So as he was riding into town, they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Okay, so they were coming and they were seeing Jesus. So if you guess Jesus was riding into Jerusalem, Jesus was riding into town, you got it, all right? If you got it, say, it's good. Good job, everybody. Well, friends, I'm your good friend, Coach Bobcat. And I'm the new strength and conditioning coach for iCampus Kids. All right, friends, I look forward to seeing you guys next week for more iCampus Kids. It's good. Hi, iCampus Kids. It is so good to see you again today. We hope you have so much fun listening to our Bible story with Miss Amanda, hanging out with Coach Bobcat, and singing with our great friend, Jancy. Today in our story, we learn about how Jesus rode into the town of Jerusalem in a very special way. Do you remember how he rode into town? That's right, on a donkey. Why do you think that riding a donkey into Jerusalem was so special? Those are some good answers. Did you know that Jesus entering into Jerusalem on a donkey was a part of God's plan all along? He even told people that it will happen way before it actually happened. Everything that Jesus did was a very special part of God's amazing plan. Another special thing that happened when Jesus entered Jerusalem was that people were so happy to see Jesus that they waved palm branches to welcome him. Palm branches are big, special leaves that they wave back and forth. Today, we're going to use some leaves to paint a picture. We found these leaves outside on our trees. Can you find some leaves outside at your house? You can even try tracing them if you don't have paint at home. That's right. You know, so we have some different colors of paint here. We have red and brown and orange and yellow, and we have some leaves. Okay. So I'm you want to try and paint, Miss Teresa? If yes. you have leaves at home, you can paint along with us, or you can trace it like Miss Teresa said, and color if you don't have paint. Okay, you wanna use yellow? I would like to use brown. Okay, I'm gonna just try and make a design, different colors in the design. Okay. This is fun. It is. I'm gonna mix these a little bit. Do you like to mix colors? Mixing colors is fun. It is fun. I'm gonna use a little bit of red. Yes. And maybe more, I'm gonna add more leaves. So use it as a brush. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it was like when the people waved the palm branches. That was a special day, wasn't it, Miss Teresa? It was. Waving all those branches, and they were saying, Hallelujah! Hosanna! Hallelujah, Hosanna! Hosanna! Praise to Jesus! So How you doing, Miss Shelley? I'm doing well. I think I made a little fall-looking picture here in the spring. It's a little fallish. That's true. That is fun. Okay. It's, fun. it's a little fun. messy, but that makes it fun. Good job, boys and girls. I am so glad that God had a special plan and that he loves us so very much. 
See, See you, you next time on iCampus Kids. Wow, I love what we heard about today, how Jesus rode on the donkey, but the children, they were waving their palm branches and they were shouting out, Hosanna. It's one of my favorite stories in the Bible, and it's why I wrote this next song that we are going to sing now. So get your palm branches ready. Sing it loud with me today.